the warehouse management system, WMS, is based on the principle inventory by location. All of the benefits and functionality of WMS rely on the product being physically and systematically in WMS recognized locations. WMS is how we communicate with each other on where we're moving items in the warehouse. So the next person to move it knows exactly where it is. All placements and retrievals must be made from the exact location directed by the WMS system. Most warehouse location names are based on the following pattern. The first two digits are the warehouse number. The second two are the section or the aisle of the warehouse. There's usually a blank space next. And then the bin number. If this is brand new to you, it might help to know that it's the same pattern used when this guy is delivering your mail. The warehouse number is like your city or town. At BWI, that might be Texarkana or Dallas or Apopka. The section or aisle is like your street in a mailing address. The bin number can be a little bit more intricate. It might help to think of an apartment building. It's easiest to think of these three digits as the house number. Example, 6401 Main Street. This next digit or letter is like the floor or the level. Example, level ABC or 123. And the last space, well, that's the apartment number. One, two, three, or A, B, C. There are some exceptions to this pattern. Contact your trainer or supervisor and they'll let you know which ones those are. Some WMS options display or require the entire location information, including the warehouse number. While other WMS options don't display or require the warehouse number with the location information. When a location barcode label is damaged or missing, notify your supervisor immediately so it can be replaced.